What's up everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Folks, today I'm going to show you guys how to use your electrical safety meter for troubleshooting and in order to do this I got the SA2600. It is a touchscreen electrical safety meter and most of them can do this but it makes it very easy on this particular device. Now this is a tall warmer. It's a generic device. However, it does still fit the bill because you're going to see very easily. So we plug this guy in. We put it on device current. I now can see what's going on inside the device and notice that it is zero amps. However, I show that it is lighting up, but that means it is not warming. This guy here should be pulling quite a few amps and you're not getting anything. This little fluorescent device down here, it is not pulling hardly any current whatsoever. If you look down here at the bottom, on the certification label, it says that we should be pulling about 550 watts. Now that is about six amps. And guys, by plugging it in, shows that it's turned on. It should be in a heating mode. It's not pulling any current whatsoever. And that goes to show you, I have bigger problems. It is definitely lit up. It's supposed to be heating. So this particular device, it has a heating element here. And then there's probably a thermal regulator, which is a bimetallic strip that connects and disconnects when it gets the temperature. And there's also a thermal fuse. Now, I don't know if this little LED is in line with mains before those thermal fuses, but I'm assuming that that little mechanical disconnector is probably part of the problem. Although it might be what lights this guy up is when it disconnects. So we have a problem here in the heating element I do have mains, I've proven it, and I've been able to detect that easily with my electrical safety meter. This time it's the SA2600 by BC Biomedical. Makes it so easy to troubleshoot devices, especially things that use AC power, AC mains. You can see exactly what it's doing. Just remember to use the build or data sticker that's on the device. Ohm's law does come into play. Using both of those, I can figure out that this device is clearly not operating within spec. Thanks for watching, guys.